After 30 years, Dr. Ava Grunfeld has no plans to practice family medicine outside of Ontario, but she worries those starting out might. It's taking from Peter to pay Paul. Um, so, you know, if we take a national perspective, it's not the solution to the problem. Canada is facing a countrywide family doctor shortage. This week, BC announced it will treat the crisis by moving from the fee-for-service model, where physicians earn around $30 to $40 per visit, no matter the complexity of the patient's problem, to one based on time spent with patients, earning qualifying physicians an average annual salary increase from $250,000 to more than $385,000. In contrast, the latest data shows GPs in Ontario, Canada's most populous province, made an average of 360000 in 2019-2020. The best agreement negotiated for physicians in Canada this year. Exciting for BC doctors and patients, says the president of the Canadian Medical Association. So patients want time with their physician. They want that time to have impact and they want their problem to be solved when they walk out that door. Provinces that aren't competitive risk losing valuable staff. Nova Scotia, which has seen the need for family doctors more than double over the pandemic, has some of the lowest pay in the country. Still, when asked, the health ministry didn't commit to higher salaries. Neither did Ontario. Alberta doctors are among the top earners. Still, the official opposition expressed worry over its neighbor's pay bump. I truly fear that Alberta doctors will look to BC BC may entice some in the short term, but to be sustainable, Dr. Grenfeld says ultimately there needs to be a shift in how the profession is perceived. Salary is one thing, um, a reputational uh, position and attitude is another thing. You know, where in the hierarchy of, of medicine do you, does one sit? And the third is the quality of life. Long-term problems that will need to be triaged. Jamie Morocco, Global News.